create thousand AI images every single day. And if you want, you can use it commercially. That's the pitch of a new service called playgroundai.com. Playgroundai.com, as you can see, that it has got a very similar view like Lexica Art, but it also lets you create images where you can generate new AI generated images. Very similar like the approach that Lexica has taken recently and they are letting you create images with a very simple intuitive UI. You don't have to know anything technically. Everything is very plain simple English and they just tell you the details about it. For example, if you want to add negative prompt, Typically, we call it negative prompt, but here they call it remove from image. Describe the details you don't want in your image, like the color, objects or a scenery. So this is a very intuitive UI. And along with this intuitive UI, they are offering you 1000 images per day and you can use these images commercially. But that is not everything. If you want slightly better professional tier, you have got like a separate tier where you pay $15 per month and you have got a new DALI tier that is $10 per month. But this is what they are offering. All you have to do is sign up with your Google account and sign up with any account. And now you would have logged in and then reach this page. So if you see this page, this is a very simple place where you can first go write your prompt, add your negative prompt using remove from the image. And also you can try out different filters. And also you can do image to image by uploading your own image and you have got certain parameters that we are very used to in the stable diffusion world like prompt guidance, um, quality, number of steps, the seed value and the number of images and private session only if you have a paid plan. So what we are going to do in this video is we are going to quickly go over certain features of playgroundai.com and then we are also going to see how we can generate new images using playgroundai.com and we are also going to check certain filters that they have got like I was quite fascinated by the filters that they have given so let's try it out. So when you land on the playgroundai.com landing page you would see something like this where you see a feed very similar like lexica, dot, lexica art and you can click the image and then it says what is the prompt that they used and every prompt is clickable. So every single token, like everything that is separated by comma is clickable and you can copy the prompt. You can click remix to use this entire thing. And you also get to see the seed value, the guidance scale, which model that they used, whether like what kind of filter that they used and when was it created, what kind of sampler it was used. And you get to see uh, more images like this. Again, very Lexica style interface, very Lexica style use case. There are certain images that they have created in this looked really absolutely amazing to me. For example, in this case, it says it's original. So like when you click this, you go, you get to see what is, what is this image? So you, you can, you can see that this is actually created using stable diffusion, but the output is like unbelievably amazing. Like if, if, if somebody has given me this image, I would have a hard time realizing this is stable diffusion image. I mean, like I can, I can identify certain things, but still this is really good. Like these, these images are really, really good for me to actually say that this is a, a AI generated image. So what we are going to do is we are going to see this and we are going to create similar images like this to easily get started. After you sign up, you can click the create button. Once you click the create button, you would reach this landing page where you can add a prompt. So I'm going to add a very simple prompt first. I'm going to say a very close up portrait of a young Chinese girl studio lighting. And I'm going to say remove from the image, ugly deformed asymmetric eyes and filter. Let's start with nothing and let's click generate um, number of the prompt guidance uh, the model you can select three stable diffusion 1.5 stable diffusion 2.1 and DALI then I'm going to stick with stable diffusion 1.5 I really like that model then you can select the dimensions and uh, if you want like higher like you want upscale you have to select uh, get the buy paid plan prompt guidance that is 
um doesn't mean that you know the larger the guidance you will have better image the larger the guidance will make the image closer to your prompt that's what it is the number of steps and the seed value i'm going to go ahead with all the all the actual values i'm going to give a seed value here so unclick this random i'm going to say 42 which is probably a very popular seed for a lot of data scientists and click generate once i click generate you can see that it took about two seconds or 1.7 seconds to generate this image it's quite good i would say honestly even though it says stable diffusion 1.5 i have found it really good like the eyes are quite good um you can rate the image i don't want to read the image right now but the eyes are quite good the image is good now you can generate the same thing using stable diffusion 2.1 with the same settings and uh, you can see how it looks like i'm going to stick to the same seed doesn't matter because it's a separate model altogether but let's see let's see this so this is the image for uh, the same prompt close up portrait of a young chinese girl studio lighting with some negative prompts i think i i kind of prefer this one over this one but now what are the things that you can do using this image one you can of course delete the image second you can upscale this image third you can apply face restoration very similar like what automatic 1 1 automatic 11 11 gives us and then you can in paint on top of it you can download the image you can copy the link of the image let's say i don't want to do any of these things i want to build on top of it so right now i know i've got an image but i want to apply separate filters or styles so i'm going to go back to 1.5 and i'm going to do the filtering so what are the filters that are available so to quickly see that there is a color pop filter instaport playtoon play mode wool ties if you know these things these are quite similar to what the the fine-tuned models are embeddings that are available on hugging face a lot of these are actually available as either stick textual inversion embeddings or fine-tuned models so playgroundai.com has very cleverly taken it and then put it as one of their uh, filter so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i want a play tune version and let's generate so it says pro tip use a character or a person at the beginning of your prompt so it says like a clown that will give a better image but let's see we have got a close-up portrait of a young chinese girl with a play tune filter and it is taking a bit of time in this case um which could possibly be that they are loading this model Oh, this, I, I, I don't know if it, I don't know if it, if it, it, this is how actually Chinese girl looks like, but this is quite good. Like I, I, I like this image, this image quite looks really good. So it also has uh, certain things like you can generate app icons, retro and in. So let's uh, try something. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to click icons and I'm going to say a bird a blue color bird flying i mean i'm trying to see that if it's like a, you know use a character at the start blue color bird flying should be fine so i'm trying to see like if i have to ever generate a twitter icon or something like that how would it look so i've you can see that it has applied that style so this is like the activation token and you can very well see that they've applied at the start of the prompt I mean, this is the iOS icon. So, I mean, this looks like a kindergarten student's art, but that's okay. It makes sense. Um, let's try another filter. We have got a wasteland, ethereal, low poly, lush illumination, instaport. Let's try color pro color pop. So let me try this, and then on top of this, closer portrait. Okay, so this is stable division two point one. And they've got a couple of prompts so i'm going to go back to stable division 1.5 and then select the filter and select color pop and then use a subject like a person at the beginning so you can say young chinese girl young a young chinese girl close up portrait studio lighting and then we have got color pop let's generate the image and then see how it looks i'm not because i'm using 1.5 i don't know how critical the negative prompts in this is but we have already seen like the image the images look quite good like the images look actually really good and this is color pop style a young chinese girl close-up portrait studio lighting 
okay um i i don't i don't know if this is color pop or i'm not i'm not familiar with the color pop style but um, definitely definitely not my style and now you can also upload existing images and then you can build on top of it i'm going to upload this image and then say um a young superhero and i'm going to stick to none or maybe i should try play tune maybe and then click generate and then see how this image gets generated so now i've got an image to image so this is again another important parameter that you can use to say how much your image you want it to look like okay this is a virat kohli looks great so th this image strength is something that you can play with to say how much your output image you want it to look like the input image and how much um, or how much it should look like the prompt so this is like a slider between the prompt and the input image and i think the the Im image looked quite good so when you have very higher image strength so it's trying to apply that play tune style on top of this this looks quite ugly so then you can come down you can come down somewhere around like 59 and then see how it looks like it looked like this totally i think that was around 30 now let's see when it has 59 how it looks i think overall i kind of like okay this this looks this is a superhero okay that's fine the hairstyle stays same and um, that's good maybe 50 is better 50 yeah i think i kind of like this playgroundai.com especially given the fact that i can generate thousand images i don't have to fire up my own gpu i can try everything i don't know how good this is going to reproduce i mean like i don't know if i create using this and then like go to okay I, I can select the diffusion sampling as well so i don't i don't know how good i can use this and then go to something else like um let's say uh, automatic 11 11 and then try to see but this this is this is quite good uh, i mean this is a reflection of the stable diffusion model in itself but overall i find it really good um especially when i don't have to you know start up my google collab session or i don't have to go somewhere and then try that makes it a compelling case for me to use it um, over a Google Collab or something like that that I would typically use to generate stable diffusion models. And also the options like the English, very English like option makes it another reason why this is easy for anybody to use. And you know, you can recommend it to your non-technical friends as well, where all they have to do is come back, read here, what is it and then try to play with. So overall, I'm quite happy with how playgroundai.com looks like. And uh, I, I don't know how long they're going to keep this thousand images per day free tier and people always you know try to use when they start they they give all all things free then things change but while it lasts i think this is this is something that you all can try out let me know in the comment section what you feel about it and do you feel anything different from what lexica is doing i find it quite intuitive given that you know i get to select the model and in the reproducibility factor is there because this is stable diffusion model unlike lexica this is not a custom model uh, but i don't know how they're going to make money as well like given that all these are open source models so let's see how it how it goes how they're going to do but for now playground.ai is here you can generate really beautiful images with good filters good styles that you don't have to manually apply or fine tune or get embedding and you can prepare these images just in a click and um, that's it see you in the next video happy prompting